Hey what's up guys my name is Greg Hogg and I'm back with another video about data science and machine learning. We are going to do a tier list they call it or basically a ranking of the Coursera certifications and the specializations. With a professional certificate it's like a company saying I certify you versus Coursera saying you get a Coursera certificate. Both are very good but you could obviously agree that a professional certificate is better but that doesn't mean the content is better so we have to go over both the actual content of the video what skills you're learning are they useful like you could learn a bunch of useful skills except then is that really going to transfer to the real world like is is that going to be useful in the future so like if you're learning r right now i'm gonna i'm gonna tell you right now a lot of the ones that are in r i'm gonna put lower on the tier list because i don't see that as the future of data science even though many people might. Spitting out my opinion, I am familiar with many of them. I have done many of them. I have not done all of them. There's some I'm going to be looking up with you. If you like today's video, give it a like. If you like me, and I know you like me, subscribe because then you know you get to keep watching stuff and it's it's just a good time. So let's just jump right into it. So by the way, peeps, forgot to mention, I do have the links to everything here in the description below. All right, so now here's my tier list. Let me show you the different layers of it, okay? So there's unbeatable, there is great, and it's in Python. There's great, but it's in R. There's decent options, so like it's okay. And then there's meh, TBH. So meh, to be honest, um, not necessarily bad, but it's like, would I recommend spending money on it? Me personally, probably not, okay? So there's a whole bunch of them here. Hopefully you can read it. It's a little bit small, but we have AI for everyone. This is actually a course. So I, I said specializations mostly is what I was doing, but I also have a couple courses in there because those are the more popular ones. Some of these, there might be a little bit of overlap too, because the specialization might include these courses, but this is again, just the, the popular stuff. Um, starting off right from the bat, what can I do? SAS, I am going to put this right on decent option ai for everyone okay so this is a an interesting course it is for everyone so if you're on my channel and you're really into data science and machine learning i'm gonna put it as again decent option it, it's 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 just not really too in-depth like it it's a little bit broad and it's more for people that don't have a big idea what's going on so for most people on my channel i probably wouldn't recommend that but not to single you out it's totally okay if you don't know that much about ai then yes it's a good option so for my users i'd probably say decent option okay let's go into a more popular one so deep learning specialization okay so i have done this it is really really good like andrew ring is just an amazing teacher and so i will immediately put this at absolutely unbeatable like it's just really really good i definitely would recommend putting your linkedin certificate on like you if you pay for the course you can put your linkedin certificate on there to show employers that you've done this you don't necessarily have to do that again you can audit the course for free but you do get a lot of good features if you do buy the course so either way whether you buy it or not it's a really really good specialization okay so data science john hopkins it is actually going in the great but it's an r so if you check it out let me just take a look at it for a second it is very highly rated it's really good but it is an r you learn r studio and r itself okay so it would be really good but it's not my future of data science. Again, a really obvious one. This is a course, machine learning, Stanford University, Andrew Ng. He, unbeatable, such a good teacher. Honestly, he's such a good teacher. Any chance to show employers that you know this course. I quite literally got a job offer. Not, not even like an interview, like a job offer. Because I said that I watched these guys' courses. I talked to my employer about this. And he's like, yeah, this guy's amazing. Again, if you put this on your LinkedIn, you're going to get some hits, seriously. And just learning the material, it's like, it's so good. Okay, so the IBM ones, the IBM's a little bit confusing because check it, check out how many professional certificates they have. They have IBM Applied AI, Data Analyst, and Data Science. Okay, so let me just look at these one by one. I do know them, but I, I want to study it in depth because there's a little bit of comparison required here. So. AI, you know, it's obviously it stands for artificial intelligence, but what does that mean? Well, it often means deep learning and neural networks, and in the case of IBM, it means Watson. So learn Python, build a chatbot, explore machine learning computer vision, and leverage IBM Watson. Okay, so they're kind of flaunting that a little bit, 
and that's totally okay because it's you know very state of the art. It is in Python. Thank you, IBM. Let's go to the Data Science Professional Certificate. It again is in Python, and of course SQL. So really, 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 really good option right here. Pretty much regardless of who you are, like I think Python is the way to go. I think. I mean, I hope everyone agrees that SQL is, is the way to go. I don't think you can really go wrong by learning that quite well. The capstone project. So you learn how to make RESTful API calls. Really important. Like a lot of people don't know this, um, like how to build actual applications. So if they're going to throw that, in, throw that in there too, that's really quite good. Applied AI. So to look at the difference there, again, it is more deep learning versus data science. So you're not going to see too much deep learning in here, maybe just a couple of references. Yeah, so then the third one, data analyst. Okay, these are all professional certificates. You all get a cer certificate from IBM on your LinkedIn. So the difference, so data analyst, it is a little not my thing, that's all. It is it's it is in demand, it is very useful, but it's just not my thing. So let me scroll down to here. It might look very similar, a lot of it is, but it's more on the number crunching side, like, you know, looking at graphs and it's a little boring in my opinion. The difference between data science and data analyst, in general, I think data science is interesting, whereas data analyst is a little bit more boring because you're just looking at numbers and you're running SQL queries and you're trying to report to the business like, hey, these are these numbers and I have a couple suggestions here. Whereas in data science and AI, you're building these machine learning models and you are leveraging these neural networks that are changing the world rapidly. So I don't think this is a bad option, absolutely. Here's how I'm going to rank these three. And I, I think you probably have an idea. So starting with applied AI, it would be a really good option and it is in Python. We have, yeah, so they're all in Python. So IBM Data Analyst is decent option. It's not bad, but it's not my thing. We're data scientists. It's, you know, it, it's not really for me. IBM Data Science Professional Certificate. There's also this specialization, which makes it even more confusing. I'm gonna check that one out after. I actually don't know what that one is. So Professional Certificate, IBM Data Science is unbeatable. Okay, I am going to, uh, do I, I don't know, this, these two might belong together, or maybe this goes down. I, yeah, I'm going to do it like this, where we have the data science is unbeatable because it hits such a wide range of people. And then the applied AI is for someone who's just like me, but it hits a, a more narrow audience for people that are really into deep learning and neural networks, which of course these ones are too, but they're so good. So I, I have to include them there. Okay, and now, yes, I'm going to look at, yeah, yeah, there's a couple. So data science fundamentals with Python and SQL, specialization, and introduction to data science. Yeah, let's look at those is a specialization. Python, SQL, data science, okay. I'm just gonna go ahead and put them under great, and it's in Python, because I'm sure they are. It, they would be very good material. You're learning the right stuff, but if you can get a professional certificate, I don't know why you wouldn't, like it's, Sorry, I put that in the wrong one. I think if you can get the professional certificate, you definitely should. And the data science one is just, it hits the whole audience there. Okay, so that's the huge IBM chunk there. Let's say Google Data Analytics, okay? So it's the same type of idea. It is a professional certificate, which is awesome. But, you know, is it really my thing? It's not my thing. Google Data Analytics, Data Analytics is a little bit boring, even if it's from Google. So, meh, it's okay. Machine Learning University of Washington, really, really good. Special, you get a specialization, so four courses, and I'm gonna put it as great, and it's in Python. Applied Data Science with Python, really good option. I'm gonna go ahead and put that in great, and pretty sure it's in Python. <laughs> Cloud Computing, University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign. Well, I've never heard of the university, it's not necessarily bad, um, but I wouldn't say it's super, super well known. So let me just take a look at it. So it's a really important topic. I can say that it is definitely worth learning. And okay, they use C++, very interesting. So it is an in-demand skill, absolutely. Machine learning combination with C++ is really in demand. You will get a job at NVIDIA or maybe one of the AI companies for or one of the video game companies using AI. It would be really difficult. You would have a tough time getting started. I 
do think C++ is going to stay around for a while. It's just tough. Like it's really tough. And unless you're a very strong coder, then I wouldn't recommend this. So I would probably still put it at decent option because it's definitely good. I think you'll have trouble with it. That's, that's all I'm trying to say. Introduction to Machine Learning, Duke University course is, you know, decent option. I'm going to just put it at decent. Uh, business Analytics at UPenn. So Business Analytics. I think that might be my first meh. You know, let me, let me just take a look at it. Okay, so here it is. Business Analytics Specialization. It is highly rated. It goes over things like customer analytics, analytics, business analytics. So you can see it's very business centric. And I mean, that's in the name, so I can't hurt them for that. But it's not really like mathematical optimization. You can see in the wording they use, it's trying to fit like a really wide audience. And so for my group of people, I am going to say, honestly, that's going to be a meh. Where did it go? There. Okay. It's not bad. It's just for you guys, I would put it as a meh. Uh, Excel skills for business, just learn some of the other stuff. Like it's not bad. All education is good, but Excel, like, I don't think so. It's, it's not my thing. It, it is my thing to do extremely trivial tasks, but just learn Python and then you can do everything that you want and it's probably faster anyway. So I wouldn't really care. Excel to MySQL, analytical techniques for business. So, you know, I just mocked Excel. But MySQL, most of these courses don't actually go into a particular database system. So I'm going to have to give that credit. I will put that as decent option. Not amazing. Data mining at University of Illinois. Let me take a look at that one. Okay, data mining specialization. Uh, analyze text, discover patterns, visualize data. Yeah, okay. Clustering algorithms, good. Visualization software, what do they mean? Tableau. Okay, so it's that kind of thing. Tableau and data visualization. Machine learning probably doesn't go into it too much if I had to guess. Let me take a look. Hands-on project, good. So visualization, text retrieval, search engines, text mining, pattern discovery. I mean, decent option. I think it looks a little bit out of date and you can see there's not that many ratings because I, I don't think that's what people are really learning right now. So honestly, I'm probably going to put that at a meh. Like it's, there's just better options. Advanced machine learning at HSE University. Okay. So advanced machine learning specialization, deep dive into the modern AI techniques. You will teach computer to see, draw, read. I mean, the English is already off, so I'm not sure how I feel about that one. It has definitely important techniques like these are very useful skills markov chain monte carlo very interesting so actually getting into some pretty statistical stuff bayesian optimization gaussian process okay so it's actually got its own kind of feel like i don't see a lot like this recurrent neural networks and cnn and markov chains and bayesian it honestly i don't know why they're all together because it's like these are very different things i haven't taken it so i can't say but my thoughts are that the English is a little bit off. The material is a little bit all over the place, but it has very high ratings. Personally, I, from the feel of how it is, I'm going to put it as uh, meh. I'll put it at meh, TBH. Okay, data science foundations using R. I think everyone can probably guess where I'm going to put that. It's great, John Hopkins, but it's an R. It not necessarily mean it's bad it's just it's not my thing machine learning rockstar the end to end of practice <laughs> uh it's in sas so it's still from sas i'll put it at decent option understanding supply chain analytics will definitely help you un understand not just that business but many 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 businesses that really rely on a proper supply chain so i think that is a very useful skill i don't really know the university rutgers I, i've never heard of that so I will put it as decent option again. Okay, so let me try and just revise this here. Let me see if there's anything to change. Unbeatable, I definitely am going to keep. Deep learning specialization. Like, so two of them are Andrew Ng, and the last one is a professional certificate from IBM saying, you know, data science, it's the right option. And it's in Python. So yeah, just do it. IBM Applied AI. That one is like really close to in between these two. I, I, I would... You get a professional certificate from IBM and you're learning very, very relevant skills. I might, mm, yeah, 
honestly, I'm even going to put that up there. Like for the fact that it's a professional certificate too, it's, it, it actually belongs up there and specializations. So this all, this all makes sense to me. Great. But it's an R. Yeah. John Hopkins. It's, it's really good, but it's an R. It's not my thing. Decent option. Sa oh, don't no. I mean, don't want SAS. Like <laughs> if I'm being honest, like I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't use SAS. AI for everyone is decent. LBM data analysis, yeah. Google data analytics is probably like the top of these things. So even though this is the same thing, I'm just gonna try to. No, it doesn't go over there. Okay, never mind. It's gonna go second there. Introduction to machine learning at Duke University, pretty good. SAS is a decent option. At least it's machine learning. So I'm gonna keep that one up there. Visual business analytics, like, yeah, it, it probably belongs in the man. Um. Maybe I'm being unfair for this one, honestly. I think I'm just really biased towards anything that says like business analytics or something, but it's it's actually pretty good. I would do that. So yeah, that's my tier list. It, here's unbeatable is where I would, you know, show you the most. Okay, so make sure to check those out in the description. Some of these give you a professional certification, like the IBM ones, other ones, deep learning and machine learning, they give you a Coursera certification. So either way, you show employers and people know these things. Like just because it's not IBM doesn't mean that people don't know these things. Like they're ridiculously popular because they're so good and Coursera is very reputable. Be sure to check those out. I have it all, all organized in the tier list below in the description. So all the links right there. There's no need to go anywhere else. Be sure to check those out. Again, if you liked today's video, give me a like. And if you loved it, give me a sub. Sub-a-dub-dub. -dub. Come on. Sub. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.